On today's episode, I talk about the client conveyor belt. Welcome back to Weekly Q&A with Steph, episode number 32. In business, we all have what's called a conveyor belt, and that is the process that our clients and our potential clients go through in being able to accept and pay for our services. And as accountants, we should hopefully all be really, really excited about data. So I've always been fascinated by this idea of a conveyor belt. When we're trying to bring new clients on board and when we're trying to get our existing clients to either repurchase with us or alternatively get more of our services that we have to offer, they kind of come on this conveyor belt. So imagine you've just done some brilliant marketing campaigns and you've got some people who've popped through your funnel. Now, oftentimes, We can win these clients really, really easily because they know who they are, they love what we do, and that is fantastic and fascinating. But oftentimes, if somebody has gone to our website or looked at our social media profiles or seen us speak at an event or done any of those things, we often lose touch with that potential because they don't really go on our conveyor belt. And even if they do go into your database, there's nothing really targeted for them to make them really, really want to become a client of yours or alternatively just help them get to that purchasing decision a hell of a lot faster. So one of the exercises I love to do with people is look at what's happening in your conveyor belt. So many accountants I talk to and lots of the questions that I get asked is, all about building and generating more revenue. So increasing your actual revenue that you're getting from existing clients as well as bringing new clients in. And one of the best ways to look at this new client acquisition and making sure that they're going from inquiry through to purchase is to have a look at what happens on your conveyor belt. So really deep dive and understand how are people coming to know about you in the first place? When they do come to know about you, what actions do they generally take? Are they sitting on your website? Are they reading some blogs? Are they happy listening to you? Are you getting subscribers to your newsletters, etc.? Having an understanding and knowledge of what's actually happening with those people who are coming to you is really beneficial because then you can start to test and start to see, okay, maybe I could offer um, a free white paper or a sign up to our newsletter in a, a much more prominent spot on your newsletter. And maybe you can offer these people assistance with being able to help set up zero or being able to do an audit from a technology or system standpoint. You want to be able to test everything on this conveyor belt and also really understand what's happening along the way. Are 50% of the people who are coming to your website doing nothing with that information? Or are 50% of those people actually hungry and desperate to read what you're writing or to sign up to your newsletter or to inquire about your actual services? And out of those people who do inquire about your services, what happens next? Where do they fall off on the next part of the process? And what can you do to improve that? So having this data and information that's constantly tracked, that you're constantly testing, and that you're constantly measuring will really, really help in your conversion rate. Because after all, if we're spending money on marketing or even if we're not spending money, but we're spending time on doing things from a marketing standpoint, we want to make sure that we're capturing and keeping as many of those potential clients on our conveyor belt for as long as possible and therefore increasing our revenue in the long run. So next week, we'll start to explore some of the ways that you can keep the potential clients on your conveyor belt a little bit longer. Some of the examples that you can use or some of the texts that you can start to write and the engagement that you can start to get with some of these people as well.